Hello everybody. <clears throat> In this video, I want to talk about um, Star 3D Simulator that recently they have updated it. And I simulated this medieval cloth. And this cloth is actually was designed in Marvel's designer. I purchased it from um, Art Station Market. And I simulated in Star 3D Simulator, which is the plugin for Unreal Engine. And in this video, I want to talk about why it's uh, actually a game changer and if you want to simulate something a cloth for Unreal Engine it's the best option to, to, to use for Unreal Engine did you know that even though Marvelous Designer or Star 3D application are very capable of simulating um, clothes and they are very fast especially style 3d well actually it's new but anyway let's talk about marvelous designer it's pre pretty accurate pretty fast straightforward but most studios use um, still the traditional way that they use Maya with Encloth or they use Houdini for close simulation and there is a reason for one one feature and that feature is you actually rig a cloth to work with the former with the skin cluster and other deformer and you also simulate the same cloth and with a map with painting a map you define which area of the cloth should follow the rigged cloth and which area should be simulated and it is incredibly important and without that in some scenarios it's actually impossible to simulate the cloth for example in this example I have this character and it basically <coughs> has some heavy less deformable stuff or uh, props on um, on it as you can see there is a belt and um, if you have experience with Marvel's designer you know that it's basically impossible to simulate this belt and the props in Marvel's designer because they cannot just follow the body they basically are simulated and this area of the belt actually let me see show you in Unreal Engine the metal part of the belt also is simulated and going um, getting off of the the uh, letter and also the letter uh, interacting um, to itself when you are simulating and penetrating to the um, other part of the letter this uh, the under underlying uh, letter goes on top and pressuring the cloth and this cloth this area of the cloth to start wiggling and the simulation is not good at all if you want to simulate such a cloth in Marvel's designer you will have problem as you can see it's multiple layer and especially this area is very hard and challenging to simulate but in style 3d other than applications like Maya or Houdini that enables the user to blend this some area with the rigged part 
and did some video to be simulated. The only application, the other application actually that you can do that other than 3D applications is Unreal Engine and it is with Style 3D. In Maya, I have uh, a vertex pane and the red area are the areas that supposed to follow the skin. This is the cloth and it's actually rigged. As you can see here, you have the cloth. And I can define which area of the cloth uh, follow the skin, which are going to be not simulated and which area should be simulated and slowly, gradually blend them together. This is only available in the Style 3D simulator. And this is a metahuman and the way that Style 3D works is pretty simple. You just add the Style 3D component and body and in a Style 3D component you should also, if you have using Metahuman, and you also add uh, the head mesh which is, I don't remember uh, what was the slave, something else, slave and you add the head mesh and you can also add other mesh, you can add for example if the character has shoes, you can add shoes to be interacting with the cloth so this character is set up with the cloth and the interesting part is actually not all the um, not all the cloth are simulated with the style 3D this is the style 3D part and I will show you actually on torso I have this piece of geometry that I don't want to be simulated and I just want to follow the character as a traditional manner, um, traditional way. And if you take a look at the Maya file, you can see that I just painted the vertex paint. Actually, I kind of pinned this area to the skin. So it is intera interacting with the uh, simulated part while also kind of affecting the simulated part and um, also just following the skin which is very important so by the way uh, the simulation the simulated mesh if you take a look it's about 200,000 um, vertices which is pretty high and Started the simulator is uh, very capable of simulating it, and I will show you how easy and fast it is to simulate this club very quickly. By the way, my graphic card is 3090, so the better your graphic card is, the faster the simulation would be. Uh, anyway, let's actually play the simulation to see how fast we can simulate this club. And uh, if I start 3D, I select the simulation and the runtime. I need to make sure that it's on record mode. So if I play, now I'm simulating and recording the cloth and wait for a while until it's loaded and yep oh i forgot to actually i'm, I'm simulating but i forgot to set animation for our character so let's actually set animation to here for animation we use animation assets and I can select catwalk 
so now let's simulate it and as you can see it's being simulated and it's quite fast uh, it just takes a minute or so to simulate the whole thing and it's incredible it is incredible and one thing uh, that also this uh, simulator does is that you can attach extra mesh to this simulation so um, you can have a highly detailed cloth as a geometry and with proxy mesh you can attach the highly detailed cloth on the lower lower resolution cloth that is simulated and in many cases that would be your only option because you cannot simulate the cloth inside marvelous designer and send it as anambic if anambic file is too big to some extent Unreal keep crashing and you cannot actually play the simulation inside Unreal Engine. Also, one other thing I noticed is that the cache file is pretty small, like smaller than enemy, way smaller than enemy. And it's very easy to manage when you are dealing with the cache file. It's very small. The cloth is already part of the character. It's already set up. You don't need to just import and export and dealing with material and this kind of stuff. So I simulated the, the whole thing again to show you how uh, fast it is. It's very small, the cache file. And uh, it's incredibly important because if you have a big project and you have many clothes and you want to um, simulate them inside an, another application you will encounter some problem first of all you will encounter you will encounter the problem of the alembic size which sometimes is super big like we are talking about hundred of um, hundred, hundred gigabytes for each cloth versus like 100 megabytes for the cache file because the way that Alembic is working uh, for inside simulator you have this piece of clothes that are detailed as many many pieces of the clothes you, you just use them as um, skinned and the simulation also the simulated part also is so small it won't be it won't be any problem with that but if you're using alembic you will have a, a couple of problems first you simulate the cloth then you export the cloth as alembic so this exporting also takes time from application as much it's, it's almost as long as simulation then you have another step you have to sometimes import the alembic file into another application for example from in maya and do some stuff and export it back and then import it inside unreal and you can imagine how many times you are importing and exporting and each time it takes time at least for unreal and for starter that i'm using it takes time to export and takes time to import and another problem is that if you have a, a lot of alembic files and you're trying to play them inside unreal sometimes it's literally impossible because the way that unreal ha uh, works is um, it, it's different from for example maya because maya read alembic file from hard drive and it's extremely slow so you, you, you cannot be in real time if you have a lot of analytic. It depends on your hard drive speed. But Unreal is more dependent on um, memory. So you are kind of limited by your computer and memory and it's not limitless. It, um, let's say you have 128 um, memory 
gigabyte memory but still if you have a like imagine you have a scene that is a dancing um, room and you have a lot of characters with um, simulated cloth and you want those simulation to be played you are limited by, by the memory of your computer and most probably you cannot play the alembic due to limitation of your hardware but because the <clears throat> because of many factors that I explained it takes less time less um, space and probably less space in memory in many of the you can optimize it in style 3d because you can use lower res res resolution for simulation and higher resolution for actually rendering and many parts you can skin them you won't have this problem if you have a big scene so that is actually I, in my opinion this is the if you have a big scene if you have a like big project this is the only uh, valid option that you can use so <laughs> From now on, I'm going to use a Start 3D uh, plugin more and more, and I will show you more videos of this. And if you remember, I had a video that I simulated the uh, pants inside Maya, but it was uh, bone driven. And you also can use that method with the Start 3D, interacting with the part that you cannot, you cannot. Uh, uh, you cannot use bone driven method for example with the skirt but with the other parts like sleeve like a like jacket like pants and you can <coughs> optimize it that way too so you, there's a lot of room for optimization if you are using the plug and um, another thing uh, that's very important is that with style 3d if you are using style 3d and you export your cloth as a Star 3D format, Star 3D, imagine you have a jacket and the jacket should have thickness. You can just enable thickness and use the jacket with the thickness inside Unreal. While if it's supposed to be Alembic file, it's probably at least five times bigger, five times more computation expensive for Unreal because the thickness is added on runtime so you just need this uh, you just need a layer of the cloth and you want to add thickness to it you don't want to bake the whole thing to Alembic file so please stay tuned and I'm going to have more tutorial on optimization for cloth simulation because believe me it's a big big issue if you ever wanted to simulate a scene with a couple of characters you pretty soon will realize that it's basically impossible with the alien thank you very much for watching